You're about to hear how the Lord has transformed the lives of our brothers and sisters. And we strongly believe that as you listen to these wonderful testimonies, you will definitely gather enough faith to trust God for your own situation. Because there is nothing that is too hard for God to do. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. We have received testimony from all across the world through our online platforms. But in the interest of time, you know that we will not be able to bring all the testimonies in one day. Hallelujah. But they will surely come through. Put your hands together as the deaconess is coming through for the testimonies for the day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will allow our sister to say her name. My name is Kumashwa Kangwashivi. And she has a testimony that I'll read to you. She says, I'm a second year student in a college, in a certain college here in Ventuk, and I just want to thank the Lord for divine favor. My course requires me to undergo internship for three months, and I was not able to secure internship in time. I thus offered myself to the college administrator in order to help her with administrative duties at college. Now, while I was at college one particular day, working on my personal laptop, a senior employee at the college noticed me and was overly concerned about the state and the condition of the laptop that I was using. It was actually quite old. Now, without saying anything, she returned to her office. To my surprise, a few days later, her assistant contacted me to arrange the purchase of a new laptop for me. I just want to thank God. I just want to thank God for a brand new laptop, a powerful laptop worth 9,000 Namibian dollars that I've been blessed with. And it is my very first time that anybody has ever done something of this nature for me. And I'm extremely grateful unto God. May his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Our next testifier, his name is Julius Kanana. And he says, I want to thank God for delivering my car from the attack of the enemy. In the dream of the night, I saw my enemies driving my old taxi. A taxi that I no longer owned and I had sold some time ago. And I've since bought a much better car. And I've been using this new car for some time as means of income. When I woke up, I was not happy about the dream. However, I started my morning routine as usual. And around 9 a.m., the hooter of my car stopped working. I realized that it was the attack of my car that I saw in the dream that was now manifesting in the physical. I immediately went to the mechanic to fix the hooter. When he was done fixing the car, the car refused to start. The engine refused to work. We tried everything we possibly could, but nothing was working. I decided to call my resident pastor for guidance. He instructed me to use my fire water that's been anointed in this ministry and spray it all over the car. And he gave me a scripture to declare over the car once I had done spraying it. I went home to collect my anointed water I came back to my car and I did exactly as resident pastor instructed me. Brethren, the power of God arrested the forces of darkness that were troubling my car. The engine started working immediately after I anointed it. After I spoke over my car, it started functioning normally. I want to return all the glory to God and I soak my testimony in the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Our next testifier, his name is Elias Kanambunga, and he says, A few Sundays ago, my son was not feeling well during service. I was so confused and not knowing what to do. He was so weak and he was just crying. I called our resident pastor to pray for him, and I believe that all will be well with him in the name of Jesus. As we were en route home around 7 o'clock in the evening, the boy started playing and he was cheerful again. I just want to thank God and give him glory for, the, for healing him. And I thank God for the life of our pastor, for his assistance and the love through Christ that day. May the Almighty restore you, sir, for every energy you use to help me. And I bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name.
The final testimony that we are reading from today comes from Blessing Taukuheke, and she says, I connect to the services of Life Change Christian Church online. I have had an ear pro- pain that has been problematic since my childhood. The pain would come and go. And I was suffering from this pain since my primary school years. And I would often develop sores in my ear. When someone would speak to me, I could barely hear them. I would have to walk very far on the road in an effort to avoid bumping into cars because I simply could not hear. Hospitals were also not able to assist me. I want to thank the God of this ministry of Life Change Christian Church. While I was connected online from Hrutfontein, the God of Life Change Christian Church located me. My ear that has been closed for years opened up. Brethren, if that clap is for Jesus, it can be better. I want to thank God for relieving me from years of pain and sores in my ears. I bless the name of the Lord and I give him all the glory. Hallelujah. 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 God is good. And all the time, we have a special announcement this morning from the marriage committee. (laughs) Hallelujah! Are you jealous? Don't be jealous. Your own is coming. Hallelujah! 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 This morning, we are blessed and happy to announce the first announcement that our dear sister Christina Lowe Sister Christina, you can quickly step forward, is intending to wed or to be wedded by Mr. Michael Bierkes. Step to the front if you want to join them. Hallelujah. Face the congregation. If there is any reason why you think the two should not be wedded in this ministry, come forward, but come with valid reason, or thunder will fire you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this blessed union will be put together on the 22nd of October. This is the first announcement. Hallelujah. It is a countdown. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. We love Jesus. He's a marvelous God. Hallelujah. 